Let's say me clean, me say just beard Louis V shirt, I'm a toast sweet Real child styling, I'm a tough shit Get less of me sweet, me say Good morning, good morning, good morning you guys It is 7.20 and it is December 17th And I'm going to start up the car Because I'm leaving out in 10 minutes Because we're going to the airport Yeah Obviously I'm not ready yet I have 10 minutes I'm gonna hurry up and slip on something Cause y'all know I'm a hot girl. Y'all know I'm a hot girl. Y'all probably like, why didn't you tell me this? Why didn't y'all tell me this? We're about to start up the car. There we go. And I am going back downstairs. And I'm gonna get this over with. I really want a Dunkin' Frap right now. I don't even need that. But I'll see you guys when I'm ready. And I'll see. We are going to put the things in the car. This is one of three of the suitcases. My mom has the other one over here. We're getting ready. We all do. And my brother has the next one right in his hand. Because Ethan is the one who's going to Jamaica and not me, guys. You can tell your vlog bye. You're not going to see them for like three weeks. He is ready to go. Guys, you realize something funny? This is the same sweater I wore to the airport one year ago. <laughs> Isn't that funny? One year ago, I was in Jamaica, recorded my first vlog for you guys, and now it's Anthony. Mom, passenger princess, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Good morning. She said good morning, guys. Off to the airport. Off to the airport. It's so weird that it's not me. And he has to drive himself to the airport too, that's so funny. So, we'll see you when he gets checked in. We reached the airport. I'm helping him take out the stuff now. So we're checking in. I'm not staying with him. Just, where's the entrance? Oh. I'm not staying with him. I'm just reeling in the bags and let him say bye to y'all. So we're gonna get inside and say bye. Okay. Are you excited? Sure. 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 So we're going inside. I wonder if Sadeki's here on the ship. Where's here? Guys, it's very empty, very much empty. And I, I'm so sad that I'm not, has not traveling though. But he's already checked in, so I'm just gonna help him reel this in, put it on a carousel, and we are out. Friend is leaving you. Are you gonna tell them bye? Bye, y'all. See y'all in three weeks. In three weeks, guys. You hear that? All right, I'm leaving you now. I'm going to work. Hey guys, so Anthony's at the airport. He's good. He's all checked in, just for those who are wondering. My mom and I are at Walmart now. We're gonna pick up dishwashing liquid and a couple other things. So, um, soap, regular yeah, soap, laundry, soap. laundry soaps, and detergent, all that stuff. So, yeah, we don't need bleach, no air freshener, no, we don't need those things. And mom's gonna do the shopping. She's gonna push the cart. When I get home, my brother's gonna watch a vlog or something, edit a couple of my vlogs, hopefully, and wash wash some dishes. That's it. Oh, and I'm going to visit my friend and drop off a doggy bed for, for her um, dog's Christmas. Well, my mom is. <laughs> so guys, I ended up getting the new clear spec phone case and it looks amazing on my phone. It feels great. I love it. It was worth the $11. I am taking a little doggy bed to my friend's house for her puppy for his Christmas. It's a travel one and her daughter's a cheerleader and he goes everywhere with them. So I think that'll be very convenient. <sighs> My mom is waiting for me outside. I just brought in all the things by myself like a beast. One trip, okay, get them ready. Okay, but we're gonna go there, go to the fish market. It's just my mom and I, so we're 
Jonathan and I are having some steamed snapper with white rice for dinner. And there's no picky eater with us for the next three weeks, so, well, besides me. So, I'm gonna go drop this off to my friend. I'm not sure when I'll come back and pick up off, but I'll see you when I come. Okay, guys, we are now going into Camp Med Food, the fish market department, because we are gonna get our snapper for dinner. So we're gonna have them cut the fish. They're gonna clean it out for us. And we're gonna pick up some skinny and some little seasoning, some scallion, and some, yeah, some little fish seasoning. Anything else that we may want. It's a nice little Chinese market. I'll show you guys, I don't know. And they even sell phones here too, guys. This is in Quincy, Massachusetts. This is how it looks. Mommy, if I knew it was coming here, I would've just waited and got a case here. Oh my gosh, you see? They have different, different variety stuff. It's almost like a market. There's so many things going on in this one big building. Mm -hmm. Smells like seafood. I smell it for sure I'm getting near. They even have these little plushies and these little crockies. Oh, this is so cute. I love those. If you know me, you know that I love pink, so I'm obviously gonna like those. And she's walking too far ahead of me. But there's a lot of people in here, so in order to respect their privacy, I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging like that a lot. We're in the fruits and vegetable department right now. I'm looking for some scallion. Scallion, right, Mom? Look at this big old pomegranate. I just knew it tastes good. This one specifically. Well, it's kind of backed up in here right now, so when we get to where we, the part of the store that we actually want to go to, I'll pick back up. Look at this piece of green scallion. scallion otherwise known as green onion why is it so big why is it so long i've never seen nothing like that but i'm pretty sure it tastes good same way yeah look at this one i like when it looks like this with a tip of white i don't really like the white part i love the rest of this it's actually raw it tastes so good so they're too big so i don't think we're gonna get it from here right mom we're not gonna get it yeah, we're gonna get oh we are gonna get it she said i guess that she's just gonna get a couple pieces right now she's also picking up some time some fresh time and um She's going back to pick up the piece of scallion, but she's not gonna get nothing much. Maybe like two, three, cause they come in like individual. And that's what I like because they're huge. Who's gonna eat so much unless you really love it? Like you have to be infatuated to have something so big like that. Um, I think that's it. And now we're gonna go over to the fish, right? You need any more seasoning? No, we'll go over no, to the fish. So, so we have just about everything, but I can't wait for y'all to see the snapper. Never mind y'all, we found the regular baby ones. That's the one we really want. That's the good stuff. You see that white that's just holding on? I don't like when it has all that white right there. Get that one that has less white. I don't like the white part. <sighs> yeah. So she found the scallion that she really wants, and now I'm gonna walk over to the fish part. Everybody's looking at me as they should. It's like when you really take off the camera, you just keep going, going, going. You don't even care anymore. Like you're so immune like to it, to having your hand raised up like this. I'm not hiding it. The only thing they should really be stopping me for is if they don't want to be in it, which I was like. So we should over to the meat part. Oh my god, I got a theory. A lot of you love chicken feet on here. Look at this. I do not eat it, and I got a story, right? I'm born four months premature. I was supposed to be born in May or June of 1999, but... Oh my god, I just said four months. That is so stupid. That math is not math enough. Anyway. I don't eat chicken foot because it reminds me of eating myself because it's premature and it's just cringy. Look guys, we made it over to the fresh and live seafood. Let's see if we can look at some live. You see? We're over here. Look, we got some wildlife. Those are yellow tail catfish. I've never had catfish before, but I heard it's really good with red. Especially monkey bread specifically. Also known as gold. Right now we want some red snapper. Is this snapper mark? Yeah, this is liner red snapper and silk red snapper. And red snapper, the American one. I think we're going for the American one. I really like yellow tail snapper as well. I hope that you guys can hear me over the vent. But this is the dead snapper. Look at that fish. My mom is going to say, oh, so it's a self serve? So I guess it's a self serve. My mom's just taking off the fish that she wants. In order to get it clean and away and stuff. Yeah, picking up the good. Oh, you don't want to go with juices. That's it. They're all 
pretty big to my liking. I kind of want a smaller one, but she's not finding any smaller ones, so I guess that the two big ones will have to do. Two is more than enough for us. We don't want any more. She's my mom and I, and more than likely, I'm only going to eat half my tail, and she's going to eat the rest. So, let's go look, guys. They have lobster over here, too, and I am a lobster queen. Anybody who knows me from my previous vlogs knows that I'm infatuated with lobster. $15 a pound. Look, guys. I can't imagine getting clipped by one of those. Look at the big old lobster. My gosh. And they have crab. This is the crab that I like. This is the best type of crab. I don't like the little Caribbean crabs, the land crabs. It's a turn off because the shell is so damn big it doesn't look good. I mean, this looks bulky on top, so. But look, and there's live tilapia. I've never seen a tilapia in a shape of a, like in its natural form. Let me show you guys what tilapia looks like if you don't know what it looks like. This one's saying hi to me. Sometimes everything is so bad for them, but I wonder if y'all know how delicious you are. And I, I am definitely sorry if I offend anybody. This is what conch looks like, or conch. I have no idea this is what it looks like in its natural form. So it's basically a snail or something? That's crazy. So, they also got some squid here too. Your squid is good, like fried squid is good. You see this black stuff that's running from it? This is the ink, and you have to be very careful when you're eating it because this type of stuff will poison you. But they're cleaning up the fish for my mom, and we're waiting. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and hop into my older lady friend Kim's live because she is live while I'm doing this right now. So, while I went on the fish, I'm going to go support her. This is going to take a while. Y'all, as soon as we ended that clip, the fish was ready. The fish was ready. I'm about to go look for this Japanese soda that they have, or you push the ball down and or whatever. What it tastes. What is what? Some type of a egg, tomato. Some type of red eggs. Oh, this the, is this balut? Duck egg, cooked salted duck egg. Most likely that tastes really good with some noodles. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm pretty sure it's rubbery. Because every egg tastes different. You cannot tell me they taste the same. You cannot tell me it's an egg or egg. No. So, if I find that Japanese soda or the Japanese strawberry milk, I'm all over it. Or if I even find a pack of matcha, it's over. Yeah, I don't know what's going on today, but I, I told you, as soon as I, I keep ending the vlogs, I'm finding everything I'm looking for. I was looking for matcha latte powder. Drink with milk. I like it cold only. I don't like hot. So this is the Prince of Peace Instant Matcha Latte, Japan. This is the powder, 140 calories, but how much sugar? It's 14 grams of sugar. That's a little bit too high. That's not originally what I want, but listen, Asian matcha is the best. It's just, it's just like, listen, y'all originated it anyway. It's the best. You have to be a green tea lover. Some people taste, say it tastes like milk with grass. I'm like, how you know what grass tastes like? Did you mean to say the scent tastes like the scent of grass? But I didn't find it, so I'm gonna keep looking. There's even more mixes on the other side. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, this is cereal. And I think that's boba. No, it's sesame. Well, it's okay if I don't find it. If I don't find it, I just don't find it. I'm seeing all these different, different popsicles and jellies. Like, literally, that's so different. Oh, these are some of the juices. But this is not the soda I'm looking for, exactly. Look, 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 look. See? The box of stuff, and I'm looking for milk. This is milky drink, but I want this. To ah! I told y'all, but this is $27 in here. What the hell is going on? What is going on? These ones are 79 cents, so I think I want to taste this. So they have green apple, they have raspberry. I'm not so sure what this is. Oh, it says it's a yogurt drink. So they have blueberry, they have raspberry. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the strawberry one. 
strawberry flavor, original flavor. It's not telling me anything on this on blueberry flavor. This one's a straight Japanese, and I, unfortunately, I don't know how to read that. But I'm not even gonna lie, the blueberry one sounds much better. So we're gonna try this as a review because we don't wanna be stuck up on just the Jamaican culture, right? We don't, that'd be boring. For those who are new, in case you, di in case you didn't know, my parents are Jamaican. 100% born and raised in Jamaica. I am the only American sibling. Actually, no, I'm not. I lie. Oh my goodness. My older brother is American as well. But the two eldest brothers, they are Jamaican. So, I say bubble tea and soursop in a can. Sea salt coffee. That doesn't look good. I want, like, I want bubble tea. But I don't want just any bubble tea. $2.50. I want to try that yogurt drink, but what if I don't like it? Bubble milk tea drink. Thai flavor, taro flavor. Ooh, these are $1.50. This is something matcha flavor. Taro is really good. Taro tastes like, it's sweet potato, but it tastes like, have, have you ever had Captain Crunch cereal? It tastes like the aftermath of that when you're finished eating the cereal and you drink the milk. That is really good. Um... I wonder if it has it's bubble tea drink but doesn't have boba in it bubble milk tea all right since i am a matcha fan i think i'm gonna go ahead and try the matcha one for you guys because like i said we're trying to be diverse we're trying to be diverse so let's get the matcha one let's try it out i was gonna try that yogurt drink but i'm really scared i'm gonna bring both of them to my mom and see what she says I have no idea where she is, but I'm gonna find her. Y'all know that. The mother has spoken, people. She said to get both because we're trying to add some diversity. We're trying to try different things. Don't be afraid to drop it in the comments of what you guys would like to see me try. It doesn't matter from where I will find it. This is Boston. Everything is here. We'll figure it out. But we're in the line right now. I'm not gonna show you guys because there's people checking out and things. But yeah, I think we got we got the fish. We got everything. We're gonna go home now, mom. And we're on our way home. Okay, guys, so my mom got the white rice. It's ready. And here is the snack. Oh, it covered the whole camera. That's how you know it's good. Look at that. Ooh, look at that, guys. Look at that. I can't get closer, but. Oh, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Just take 10 seconds and listen to the bubble. 10 seconds. Let's see. What? That was longer than 10 seconds. That was less than 10 seconds left. Come on. Come on. Good night, guys. It is 11 11. Make a wish. All right. <laughs> All right. So I promised you guys that I was going to try the Japanese drinks. I didn't end up trying them the same time because um, I had to put up the Christmas tree, obviously. And as you guys saw, that was a fail. Okay. Wait. Pause. I actually didn't end up inserting the clips when I was doing the Christmas tree because, y'all, it was a major fail. Everything was just shutting in. If you know me, I get aggravated easily. So, honest, honestly, I, ju I just stopped doing everything. I'm not even going to insert it. It was like a whole hassle. So, if I don't drink it now, I don't think I'm ever going to drink them. So, right now, we have this Japanese drink. I cannot read the title because it is in Korean or whatever. I'm not sure of the handwriting. I don't mean to offend anybody. Um, this is a blueberry flavor yogurt drink, if I remember on the title. And then here we have the Homey, I think that's the brand, if I call it correctly, bubble milk tea drink matcha flavor. I love matcha flavor. A lot of people say that it tastes like grass, but oh, you know what grass tastes like? That's the real question. So let's go ahead with this blueberry yogurt drink first. Y'all, I'm so nervous, but that's strawberry, raspberry. Blueberry and I don't remember the last one, but there was four different flavors. But this one caught my attention, so let's go. Mm. Okay, when I'm explaining things, they're like very precise. For the people who are in America, this tastes like a Danimals yogurt drink. Danimals or Activia blueberry yogurt drink. Mixed with hubba bubba bubble gum. I know that's very descriptive, very precise. 
but that's what it tastes like i was so nervous but this is good it's like a juicy milky flavor yo i'm gonna go back and buy every flavor that is good let's get into this i'm not sure if there's actually boba in here it doesn't really say this is a taiwan drink it says taiwan classic it doesn't really say but i guess we'll know fun fact you guys see the little hole thingy on the cans you're supposed to turn this around and put the straw through it so if you didn't know now you know that that little part of the can opener the can thing on top of sodas and juices that's a straw holder so let's get into it there must be real boba in here because it's not coming up Wait, I think there's boba because something's blocking it. It says boba milk tea, but most of the time, some of them don't have boba in it. If you don't know what boba, boba is, it's like boiled tapioca that they use in drinks in Asian culture. It's very popular. Okay. This is not the best boba I've ever had. But it's good. I shook it up good. I'm not seeing any bubbles. All right, it's not horrible. This is this is all right. Out of the two of them, I do have to say that I was more nervous about this one, but this is the best tasting one, and I definitely will be going back to buy two of each because, y'all, this is amazing. This is amazing. This I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'm willing to try the other flavors. This tastes good though, but it's not as good. Like, if it had like a if you mix these, it would taste amazing. Because blueberry and matcha does go. It tastes great. Let's get that one done. I'm going to put this in the fridge for tomorrow. But this one, I'm definitely going to drink tonight. This is good. So, the matcha. Out of 10, I'm going to rate the matcha... A seven because it doesn't taste bad it's just not you know if you're looking for something if you like matcha green like green tea extract type of flavors that green that is for you that's what matcha is with a hint of milk now you see this you got to be a real fruity and milk fan like me to want to drink this mm, i can't imagine how the strawberry would have tasted i'm definitely gonna try the raspberry and the strawberry one but that's that yeah i'm so glad i tried it you gotta step out your comfort zone at some point guys i'm about to go to my bed